few weeks ago, we watched a movie from a strong, rising up and coming YouTuber that we were a big fan of. And that is young Carlito, right here. Carlito just hit 5,000 subs. Would love to give him some more. And Carlito has made a new movie on the weird cast of Diddy Kong Racing. And I would love to know, because this game got some weird characters in it. I asked Carlito, I DM'd him, I'm like, hey man, I'm not trying to like take your shine. Are you cool with me watching this? He said, yeah. This is the weird cast of Diddy Kong Racing by Carlito, one of the most talented uh, YouTubers in the scene. When you think of the racing game for the N64, the first thing to come to mind is probably Beetle Mario Adventure. Kart 64. All right, yeah. It's a classic. <laughs> Honestly, I think a San Francisco Rush, as weird as that is. If you were to show your mom this roster, she could probably name almost everyone on this list. That's how recognizable this cast has become. Yeah, she could. Gamer mom? Yeah, I'm wondering, like, the average mom, I think, could get, like, I don't know if they'd know Peach. My mom doesn't know who the Yoshi is? Really? I feel like Yoshi might be one of the most universally known. Yoshi's definitely more known than Toad. I think, I think Yoshi stocks are way higher than Toad. Maybe more. Now show your mom the <laughs> roster from Diddy Kong Racing. She probably only named Diddy Kong. My mom would not know who Diddy Kong is. <laughs> my mom would have no idea who this guy is. My mom actually might know Conker. She know Banjo, actually. Because I named my dog after this guy. She might know Banjo. Tag yourself. Who's you guys playing this game? I said it before, bro. I'm a Timber player. Timber is like the Mario of the game. He's like the he's like all around, I think. And don't say Tip Top. I hate Tip Top, guys. Everybody in my friend group played Tip Top. And I don't know why. He's a turtle. There's nothing appealing about this design. Every other character has like clothes or like a hat or goggles or this look of visible confusion. I don't know. I had a lot of people that like Tip Top, but I don't get it. So who are these guys? Please tell me. Well, I know Crunch. I'll tell you. These like characters someone. radiate so much personality. Just by hovering over them on the character select screen, you can oh, tell this. what they're Play all the about. Music. The instrument used in the song even changes to help reflect that character's personality. Like hovering over Pipsy, the theme changes into a cutesy kind of steel drum. I can't believe no other game has done this. Why isn't this common? <laughs> I love the confusion. A clock? Yeah, I guess, I guess if you haven't seen this before, you'd be like, what? There are all these animals and then a clock. There's a whole bunch of like forest friends and then like an appliance. Wait till you see the genie, bro. Or hovering over genie. banjo. You hear some dude go fucking crazy on his banjo. Yeah, this would kill your fingers. Coney, je definitely just a midi. Wait, are you saying that I... Did you think that I thought that someone played the banjo and then they bit crunched it down into that? No! I don't think a person actually played that. This is the 64. There is no real music. You had to go to the PS1 for that. I wondered, what else is there to them? Like... Is that all Bumper is? Just some badger who races Diddy Kong? Well, not necessarily. These characters are more than what they seem. Really? Let me show you what I mean. Please! The first character we're talking about is Diddy Kong. Yeah! He's someone we're all familiar with. No introductions needed. But why is Diddy Kong racing in this game? He's racing to help out his old friend Timber the Tiger fight off the evil Whizpig. Yeah, Timber was Whizpig like his best took friend. Over Timber's island. Oh, that's his island? Oh, he's like a rich kid. I didn't know Timber was like a trust fund kid. Bro has his own island? If anyone is the main character in this game, it's actually Timber. And yeah! if I'm just talking about this game on a surface Timber level rules, and not going dude. deeper. No, Diddy doesn't so matter. So where is Diddy Kong relevant? Well, he would have been the main character of the cancelled sequel, Diddy Kong Racing Adventure. There's not much to do in it, <laughs> but usually we don't even get to see prototypes like this in such What the fuck is that Rhino? What happened to Rambi? Bro, what happened to Rambi? That was so cute. This is like a super cartoonish mo- He kind of looks like the Donkey Kong cartoon show, Diddy. On top of this Star Fox Assault Beast. That thing has murdered three zookeepers. Yeah, we need to take that shit down. Sedate it. Move on to the actual main character of Diddy Kong Racing. The goaded Timber the Tiger. Yeah! Like I said, Timber is the main I'm character Timber. of this game. Rah. Diddy Kong ain't shit. He's the main character because he calls all the racers that appear in the game to Timber Island to help yeah, him. Yeah, Diddy's like, him. Diddy, I think if I remember correctly, Diddy is like mutuals with Timber. All these other guys are Timber's friends. He just showed up to help Timber and Timber's like, oh, these are all my guys. Here, check this out. Timber knows Banjo? I don't think so. Wait, no, he does know Banjo because that's what, that's what I just said. <laughs> but Banjo doesn't, I guess they fell out or something. I can't believe Timbo wasn't, Timber wasn't in one of Banjo's many adventures. Timber was supposed to be a character way bigger than he ended up being. Aww. Someone who went beyond just Poor Diddy Timber, Kong racing. Dude. 
Before Diddy Kong Racing became what we know it as, it was a completely different racing game known as Pro AM 64 that starred Timber the Tiger as the protagonist. Ew. When Rare showed Pro AM 64 to Nintendo, they ended up changing the lead character to Diddy Kong. <laughs> Bro, put put Diddy Kong in this shit. I hate that tiger. If you gave Timber a Nintendo hat, they might have liked it. That's but so the Rare team up. had a fondness towards Timber, still making him the lead in the actual I story like of Diddy Kong Racing, and then planned into making him have his own full-on game after Diddy Kong Racing's release. It was going to be a 3D adventure game being developed for the N64 known as Dinosaur Planet. No way. He would be a kind of time traveler who would go no to the prehistoric way. ages for an adventure that would play similarly to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina <laughs> oh, of Time. Oh no! Diddy Kong racing it. Either way, after some time, they actually ended up scrapping Timber as the main character for this game. Yeah, And this game would Fox. eventually turn into yeah. Star Fox Adventures for the oh, GameCube. Oh my god, dude! You got showed up by Diddy Kong and then Fox? Dude, to lose your game to Star Fox in a side game, he's a pilot. He's not even supposed to be out of his plane, dude. There are some characters that actually ended up in their own That's titles so after Diddy Kong Racing. Of course, being Banjo and Conker. Yeah. These characters actually first appeared in Diddy Kong Racing, believe it or not. If you're watching this video, you probably know who they are, but I'll go over them quickly one at a time real quick. Okay, so I think he's probably going to talk about the Conker thing. I will say it was so weird. I remember seeing stuff for the Conquer game that they were working on, which is like this cutesy, like you collect tails and stuff. I was like, oh, that looks really cool, right? He had like a Game Boy game, which was like also very cutesy and whatever. And then he's in this game and he's adorable. And then they show footage and he's like cussing and talking about dicks and sex. And like there's a sunflower with giant breasts and like, dude, what? <laughs> what happened? And then he just left again. He just was in no other games after that. He just, he had his one game and then he dipped. It was really weird because he was still in this game looking cute as hell. There's not too much to say about Banjo. I mean, he's Banjo. We know Banjo. If you're watching this, you know who he is. He's so cute. After Diddy Kong Racing, he would star in his own banger game being mm -hmm. Banjo-Kazooie. Then there was Banjo-Tooie, then the Game Boy yeah, one, then the good. Xbox which one, then he's good. gone for 10 years, good. now he's in Smash. But according to the Diddy Kong Racing manual, the reason why Kazooie isn't in this game is because Banjo hasn't actually met Kazooie yet. Oh! I like that they gave a reason for Kazooie not being here. It's definitely a thing I wouldn't care about if it didn't have a reason. But it having a kind it's of story reason is a pretty nice touch. Oh, he's looking for his special someone. Look at the vacancy in his eyes. Look at how lost he looks. He needs a red bird. It's time for the other one. Conquer. It's unbelievable that this squirrel is in this game, bro. <laughs> Professional pisser and part-time kart racer. But how the hell did he end up in this family-friendly Diddy Kong racing? I feel like, I, I feel kind of a kinship with Conquer because when I go work like those in Nintendo events, or, like, big, like, tournament stuff for, you know, national broadcasts for, like, kids. I feel like I put on the conquer face. And then when I'm on stream, I'm talking about, uh, you know, what I talk about. It's weird. Well, like I, I feel said, Banjo like and Conker's conquer games bit, weren't huh? out yet. Pretty much your run-of-the-mill N64 Yo, look at platformer. His head. He's got the, Super wholesome and shit. Conquer would actually have a release Stevie with Wonder. this wholesome type huh? of style on the Game Boy Color. <laughs> known as Conker's Pocket Tales. Why is his head but doing that? But the console that? 12 Tales Conker 64, yes. <laughs> later in development, would turn into the crazy-ass Conker's Bad what Tales was Conker that? 64. Was that Barry? I've never seen this. Is that a girl, or is he wearing, like, a like a, like a a Scottish kilt? Conker is, like, the complete opposite of what kind of character you'd expect to be in Diddy Kong Racing. A character you would expect to be in this game is Pipsy, this cute little mouse racer. Yeah. Now... What's Pipsy actually kind of has a pretty cool history. Pipsy wasn't even a mouse. Yeah. She was a kangaroo named Roo. It was this yellow kangaroo That's with boxing cuter. clothes. I want Roo. There's even textures for her in the game still. However, so the problem cute. with Roo and why she wasn't included in the final release is because the team thought that characters would also need to be able to like walk around outside of their vehicles. People have also thought that her boxing gloves might have been a problem since every other character has their hands free. I guess. But at the end of the day, Roo was left to die. Oh, dude. Why can't the kangaroo run? Is the idea like you have to create a hop cycle? I don't care if I'm eight. There was this N64 game Rare was working on called Astro Mouse, and it got canceled, <laughs> shocker. What? But even after the game got canceled, Kevin Bayless wanted to repurpose Astro Mouse into Diddy Kong Racing as a playable what? racer. 
Why? So you decided to replace Rue with Astro Mouse. You know what? I An astronaut mouse is kind of cool. Although it would be weird that somebody's here, like, everybody else is just hanging out, like, on vacation, and one guy's in his, like, job uniform. <laughs> the astronaut shows up to, to, to also race. Oh, sorry, guys. You know, I'm so busy being in space. And I couldn't change. Hope you guys don't mind. I'm an astronaut, by the way. That got scrapped kind of an because of problems with his spacesuit being too bulky to like fit in the vehicles for the game. <laughs> so Kevin Bayless worked on redesigning Astro Make the Mouse, cart bigger! which eventually turned into Pipsy, Aww. the tough, speedy mouse we know her as today. Next on this list, we got Crunch the Kremlin. Yo, he's, a pretty cool dude. he's kind of the only character I'd say really relates to Diddy Kong. And what I mean by that is like, you know, he's a Kremlin, and yeah, that's a from, Donkey like, Kong universe, series yeah. species. Crunch was one of the two Kremlin spies that was sent by King K. Rool <laughs> to investigate why Diddy Kong is at Timber Island. <laughs> they were sent because K. Rool was scared that they were making some plot against the Kremlings. Oh. Diddy Kong Racing it's kinda DS reasonable. actually shows us what the other spy K. Rool was sent looks like. And he looks exactly the fucking same. <laughs> it's just Crunch 2. Then they see Diddy Kong speed off in a car in the jungle. Oh. So Crunch tells Crunch 2 that they should go chase him. Crunch 2 declined and then bolted into the undergrowth. So Crunch says fuck it and decides to go follow Diddy alone. But instead of being a villain like he was supposed to be, he teams up with Diddy Kong <laughs> and crew to beat Whizpig. Cool. There's no given reason why he does this. Crunch doesn't need a reason because he's Crunch. This is so weird. Like, everybody else is, like, not really anthropomorphic. Like, it's just an animal with one, maybe two pieces of clothes at least, at, at most. Hat, shirt, belt, gloves, kind of. Th that's a person, man. That's a person. That's not an animal. This is a human. They're very skeptical. Like, they don't trust Crunch. Which, I mean, I would trust Crunch over Conker, personally. But that's just <laughs> me, I guess. They would eventually learn to I trust... Mean, you don't know about Conker's home life at this point. You don't know what Conker's up to. Why were there two of them, though? Like, why did he have to ten send two spies? I don't know why they needed two crunches. Coney doesn't get spy work. Do you need verifiable espionage protocol in 1996? Do you think K. Rule has the same protocol as Her Majesty's Secret Service? Now, Bumper. Ew. Bumper the Badger is probably my favorite original character in this game. I don't game. like him. He's weird. I love him because he got arrested. And that is, like, so fucking absurd. Like and no, what? this isn't some joke or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Bumper officially what? was behind bars at one point. A fan of Rare named Aaron asked, Where do your beloved characters like Cameo and Banjo go when not using any games for the next decade? Uh -huh. Rare themselves yeah, answered where's this. Timber? They said, Where do the characters go between games? Well, they're all having crazy adventures <laughs> too expensive and asset-heavy to adapt into game form. Except for Bumper the Badger who's in jail for what what did he do why of all characters not even conquer conquers out there on the streets nine years later in 2021 rare tweeted that bumper's been free for oh, a while good. and he's okay. sorry for all the bad things he did well he's superficially sorry okay so he's he's unrepentant i don't know if that's better or worse so he's just evil yeah i guess so i don't Timber would never do that. He was just some chill badger racing with Diddy Kong. I'm not a prison. bumper guy. Next I racer, don't like bumper. Tip top. Ew! What is that? Why do his eyes scale with his head? Vile beast. Yeah, I hate this dude. Why are you wearing gloves? I don't. I hate tip top, dude. There's so much tip top propaganda, bro. He's clumsy and shy and actually doesn't even like Geek. racing. He's pretty much racing out of peer pressure. I also mentioned earlier that he appeared in a game after Diddy Kong Racing. It wasn't his own game, but yeah, he did. More teeth? Oh my god. Turtles do have teeth, right? Just not like that. He was a minor character in the Banjo-Kazooie series. You play a little mini game that's pretty much just Simon Says with turtles. And then he gives Banjo a jiggy. He then reappears in Banjo-Tooie where he has an egg. Tip-Tup tells Kazooie that the egg hasn't hatched in several months. <laughs> Tip-Tup already has 19 daughters. And because of that, he believes that this egg houses his future son. So he asked <laughs> Kazooie for help. Oh, by the way, Ella Fox is spinning. Banjo-Tooie is the worst game ever made. Because I every once in a while, I'll go back and I'm like, oh, I want to play a Banjo game. But I've played Banjo-Kazooie like eight times. And I was like, all right, let me try Banjo-Tooie. It's so long, dude. Banjo-Tooie is amazing. It's better than the first. I don't know where you even get that idea. Like, a lot of opinions, I can like fathom the human being that could think of that. But Banjo-Tooie is just, it's literally worse. Getting a Jiggy takes like 45 minutes each. It's a disaster. 
in Banjo Kazooie, it's like, all right, smash this box. Inside the box is a, a jiggy. Tui is like, smash the box. Inside the box is one of five colored eggs. You have to get all five colored eggs and then take them to this giant eagle. The eagle will then hatch one of the eggs, and out of it comes a, a spring. And you use that spring to jump up to the top of a tree. And at the top of the tree is a pickaxe, which will open the second egg. And then you have to go back to the eagle, open up the second egg, and inside there, it, like, it's insane. It's crazy. It's exhausting. You're exaggerating. I'm literally not. Do you remember the quest with, like, the babies and the dinosaur level? Uh, you guys are pissed. I'm literally not exaggerating. That game is a fucking nightmare. I hate Banjo-Tooie. Finally, we're done with the base roster. There's now the two unlockable characters, Drumstick and TT. First off, Drumstick the Rooster. Okay, I think I actually know Drumstick's story. I think Drumstick used to be... Like, the best racer on the island, and everybody loved him, and he was so cool. And then Wizpig put a spell on him, and now he's mentally ill? I'm telling you this because I I could be very wrong, and maybe I read some drumstick fanfic. Because I read this back when the game came out in the wild west of the internet. So maybe I stumbled upon the wrong in, the wrong forum. What are you talking about? I, 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 this is, uh, this isn't a bit or a joke. This is literally what I know of the character based on my knowledge when I was like, when did this game come out? 2000, oh my god, 1996, 1997? I was like eight or nine. When Wizpig took over the island, Timber had an immediate plan before calling everyone to help. It was to just call Drumstick for help. Yeah. Drumstick was known as the best racer on Timber Island. Yeah, he's very good. A true professional. Yeah. So Timber told Drumstick to challenge Wizpig. They raced, and nobody knew who won. But a lot of time passed, and Drumstick never returned. So Timber sent out his letter to call everyone to help for the fight against Wizpig. Oh, he disappeared. I forgot about that. He just disappears. But I'm gonna let it rock. Hold on. Now you may be wondering, what happened to Drumstick? Yeah. Well, after he raced with Wizpig, he apparently turned into a frog. And I shit you not, to break this curse and revert Drumstick back into a rooster, you have to run over him with your car. Which is the most, like, playground rumor ass unlockable character <laughs> I've ever heard. That's what? like in Melee when you microwave your game to unlock Fire Mario. But honestly, that's pretty cool. I like unlockable stuff that's, that's not just thing. beat X amount of races, you know what I mean? Uh, they made a whole ass other bit of the story to unlock this rooster character. Yeah. I also found out that it's a little bit different to unlock him in Diddy Kong Racing DS. Is that it? You have to like pull on a random frog like it's a fucking slingshot <laughs> and let it fly into the air to hit the drumstick frog off a ledge so then you can run over him. Finding footage for that led- <laughs> Great video game videos. 17 subs. Can't be that great, I guess. Me to this awesome video by Great Video Game Videos. <laughs> <laughs> I need this, like, transparent so I can pop it up on my stream. I need this on my stream deck. Got him! <laughs> that's, that's so That's all good. there is to Drumstick. No, like, special development history that that's I could it, find. That's it, huh? Just an interesting unlockable character. You know what I think it was? Maybe I filled in the gaps myself because when I picked Drumstick, like, I want you to imagine what you think Drumstick sounds like. Redneck, Elvis, a racist. Foghorn, Leghorn. Those are all three the same thing. So you all have an idea of what this guy sounds like. Here you go. I'm Drumstick! Fire! You didn't guess that. My name's Drumstick! But I think turning him into a frog and then back to a chicken uh, fucked him up a little bit on some, like, I don't know, pet cemetery stuff, you know? He also got ran over by a car. Oh, yeah! I did do that. Maybe I gave him a traumatic brain injury. Whoops! Now the final playable character. It's God! PT. He's a talking clock that just walks around at first. <laughs> you can talk to him and activate time Yeah, he time just trial walks mode. around. And Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. There's this dude named Trophy Thomas, who also <laughs> abbreviates his name as TT. That would be a small thing to compare at first, yeah. but then you realize he also gives the player TT trophies. So both of these TTs give golden rewards uh -huh. for doing stuff quickly. And I think what seals their connection is that yeah. they both literally abbreviate their name as TT. I guess so. But we've seen the real TT pretty recently, Trophy even Andy. after Nuts and Bolts. The most recent time we've seen TT himself 
isn't this prototype screenshot of Sea of Thieves, another recently rare made title. What? It's TT in this crude looking bar. This was tweeted by Greg Mayles. Who? And Greg Mayles never worked on Diddy Kong Racing, but he's made some games that you've definitely recognized. Here's the list on screen. Oh, he's the director of Banjo-Kazooie? Bro, did he really... I can't believe the same person made Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie. That's unbelievable to me. What happened? Donkey Kong 64 happened. See, I was going to make that joke that it corrupted his mind, but he was only did support. But maybe that's just how strong the influence was. Coins for every Kong. Individually colored bananas. That's every playable character in Diddy Kong Racing. Tell me about Taj! But to be really conclusive yes! about the weird cast Taj! of Diddy Kong Racing... Let's go! I have to mention some of the other important characters yes! that appear in it. Hell yes! He even talks about the night roster that's my guy, dude! Taj the Blue Elephant. He serves as the tutorial guide to a degree, and is a very prominent character. Very. Even later becoming playable in Diddy Kong Racing DS. But it was revealed by Kevin Bayless that before becoming a Blue Elephant, he was going to be a hairy mammoth. Yeah. But it didn't look right with the N64 limitations. No. How do you put so hair it was on it? changed to the design we know today. Good. How would you put hair on it? It's Nintendo 64. They were ambitious. And even though he isn't playable in the N64 version of Diddy Kong Racing, there's evidence to suggest that he was planned to be playable. Really? In the beta files of Diddy Kong Racing, there's a character oh. select instrument change that goes unused, and it sounds like it could have belonged to Taj. Like I mentioned before, this instrument change only happens when you hover over a character to select them. So Taj was probably going to be playable, and this was the theme they would have used when you hovered over him. Now, Wizpig. I could not make this video without talking about Wizpig. I've tossed around his name so many times throughout this video. Bro, Wizpig is like 50 feet tall. Why? It's really weird. One day, Wizpig was living his life, as you do, doing his thing. But he was really bored. Like as a pig? So he decides to conquer his entire home planet. Oh. And he succeeds doing so. Uh -huh. Turning it into a futuristic theme park named Future Funland. Why does that- why was that a thing in the 90s? That was like like Space Jam, this, other examples that the editor will put in the video. <laughs> what, what's up with the evil theme park thing? Goosebumps, I guess. Yeah, actually. Yeah, just evil theme parks in general. Once Wizpig is defeated in the game, the gang is all having a party, you know, because they're celebrating they beat uh -huh. Wizpig. But then Wizpig is kind of a dickhead here. He, like, <laughs> scares them all off and then shoots lasers at them before so dipping back bigger? home to future Funland. Timber and friends respond by going to his actual home planet and then beating his ass in races at his own doorstep. What is this problem? So Wispig understands that he's a fucking loser. And after Wispig loses, he like dies, I, th I think. His ship would show up in the post credits, but we never see him, so he's probably dead. Obviously, he's in Diddy Kong Racing DS, where you actually unlock him, which is kind of cool. Oh, but his render wait, is probably the most him? disgusting thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I genuinely thought this was like some fan made curse shit. But this is real. What? Ew! He's like slimy. This is a real official image of Wizpig. Oh my and god. That would be the final time we would see Wizpig. Oh. Same with most of this cast, besides the mentions in like the Twitter posts or whatever. Uh -huh. If you didn't know about Diddy Kong's friends before this video, you for sure know them now. These weird fucks are something. Something special. And I hope one day we can see them back on the racetrack that they deserve to be on. Excellent movie. Excellent movie. Drake's for Carlito. Now listen, a lot of people, what they do is they tell you, hey, go to this video and leave a like. I'm not gonna tell you to do that because actually that hurts them. Because what happens is YouTube sees you going there, dropping a like and a comment and then leaving. So their view duration goes down. What I want you to do is watch this movie later. All right, this is everything about Klungo. If you're a Banjo Kazooie fan, I want you to watch that. I have not watched it. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it on stream. I'm gonna leave that to you guys. If you guys want to see it, then you watch it fully. All right. I'm gonna leave that to you. I already watched it. All right. We'll watch it again. <laughs> we try to help out people on this stream.